page. This is the professor, CBMD PhD. It's a Thursday, May 25th, 2023. It is 5.52 and 24 seconds, a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And today's research, microplastics. So let's hop to it here. Microplastics are harming gut health. Microplastic pollution is altering the gut microbiomes of wild seabirds. And humans should be wary too. Date May 24, 2023. Source, McGill University. An international team of scientists, including researchers from McGill University, have found evidence that microplastics in the digestive tract of seabirds altered the microbiome of the gut, increasing the presence of pathogens and antibiotic-resistant microbes, while decreasing the beneficial bacteria found in the intestines. The findings reflect the circumstances of animals in the wild, since humans also uptake microplastics from the environment and through food. This study should act as a warning for us. The gut microbiome encompasses all the microbes in the gastrointestinal tract, which help control the digestion of food, immune system, central nervous system, and other bodily processes. It is a key indicator of health and well-being. And to gain a better understanding of how species are affected by diets chronically contaminated with microplastics, the scientists examined the gut microbiome of two seabird species. The northern former Fomaris glacialis and the Corishi water Calinectarius borealis that live mainly on the high seas and feed on marine mollusks, crustaceans, and fish. Until now, there was little research on whether the amounts of microplastics present in the natural environment have a negative impact on the gut microbial health of affected species. In studying the seabirds, the researchers discovered that microplastic ingestion changed the microbial communities throughout the gastrointestinal tract of both seabird species. The more microplastics found in the gut, the fewer commensal bacteria could be detected. As commensal bacteria supply their host with essential nutrients and help defend the host against opportunistic pathogens, disturbances can impair many health-related processes and may lead to diseases in the host. According to the researchers, most studies exploring the impact of microplastics on the microbiome are done in laboratories using very high concentrations of microplastics. And by studying animals in the wild, the research shows that changes in the microbiome can occur at lower concentrations that are already present in the natural environment. And this is a professor, professor of microbiology, bioinformatics, pathophysiology, and leader of research. This video was created for educational purposes only. Hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time. Have an awesome day.